Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hi, welcome. I'm your host, Gail Nowak, and today we're speaking with sought-after master soul coach, Laura Clark. Laura empowers individuals to hear their intuition more consistently, understand it more clearly, and act upon it courageously in order to create a life filled with great joy and abundance. As an international best-selling author and engaging speaker, Laura teaches a down-to-earth practical approach to integrating spirituality and soul-wise living into your life. I have known Laura for years and recently had the pleasure of reconnecting with her at Evolution 2019, where we chatted about using your inner wisdom. So welcome, Laura. I'm so excited to be here with you, Gail. I'm so excited to be here at Evolution 2019. Ah, it's so fabulous. Yes, it is. It is. is. So why don't you tell us about your business and how you are helping your clients? So I help support them finding their own intuition and saying yes to themselves by having them connect to their inner truth. And when they do that, they don't necessarily understand it. So we go deeper. They can hear it. Then we work on understanding it. And then we work on the courage to follow it. Because our truth is our truth. And when we follow it, all kinds of joy and abundance follow from that. Awesome. Awesome. So can you give some specific examples of outcomes that that clients have had when they learn how to listen and trust their intuition a little bit more? Certainly. I just finished up with a year client who was spectacular. She's just so loving. And what she recognized is she had stepped away from her creativity. And she is an artist by by design. Right? And she works with numbers and accounting. So there's, you know, stepping away from art to mm-hmm. do numbers is very non-linear for her and and so she started embracing her creativity and started watercoloring every night and in that watercoloring images um, messages started coming up and then there'd be streams of consciousness so she'd work for two weeks and she'd look at these little just five minutes worth of art and she'd look at them and there'd be a pattern and we'd and she could understand it more and that that watercoloring was coming from her truth. That was coming from inside of her. And so she'd see that, and then we'd have to hone down, well, what's the message? And we could look at it. So, And that was really unique. So I work with people very differently. That's the first time I've ever worked with somebody who wanted to do watercoloring to find their their truth. Um, And then we started working on the courage to step out of that. And so now she's helping other people through art to find their inner wisdom which is really fascinating. That is really fascinating. Oh my gosh. So you, you you mentioned courage and we're mm-hmm. here at Evolution talking about possibilities. Mm-hmm. So what are some of the things that maybe hold people back from even getting to that point where they're willing to explore that journey mm-hmm. of trusting their intuition? Yeah, I think that it, the 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 ex- Exploration comes when they're fed up Hmm. with where they are, and they know that it's time to make a shift. And they don't necessarily know how to make that shift yet, but they know staying in the same place is only going to cover them up with other stuff. Mm -hmm. And they don't want other stuff in their life anymore. So they know they need to make a shift. And once you recognize that a shift needs to happen, then all of a sudden the universe starts giving you these little tiny nudges towards your truth. It gives you these signs. You'll start seeing something and you'll notice it. And so then you start saying, well, what was that about? What's the probability? What's the possibility? And then they're ready to really dive in and explore it and evolve from it. Hmm. So what, usually I ask people, you know, what's the, what's the big problem Mm. that you help your clients solve? And, and maybe there is an answer there, but I sort of feel like with, with, with the work that you do, it's really more about walking side by side mm-hmm. with people and helping them solve the problem themselves. Is that it, it, 
Yes. Accurate? Yes and no. Okay. Yes and no. <laughs> it, it is. My ultimate goal is to get somebody to a point where they can start asking questions of themselves that bring them out of their comfort zone so that they can find their own solution. Because, you know, you can have all the coaches in the world, but they're not going to be with you at 3 a.m. I love my people. I love my peeps. <laughs> but 3 a.m., I'm not functioning for them. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and when you have that those pain times in your life, it's important to get quiet so that you can hear that truth coming out of you so you can find that answer and get that that one step of courage. Because you know, it only takes one step, mm -hmm. right? It only takes one step to take momentum. Once you have momentum, things start flourishing, right? So just finding, my goal is to help people find that space where they can find their inner wisdom and find courage and take that one little step, make that one little shift, because then momentum will carry them towards their, their ultimate goal. Yeah, and I, I love that you talk about that momentum. And also, I, I would imagine that there is a ripple effect for you, for them, for the people around them. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, the, the ripple effect, um, you know, you throw a um, stone in a pond and it ripples. And what you want to do for throwing that stone in the pond, what's your goal? You know, what do you want to do in um, to be a better person, to be more kind, to be more compassionate? When you take that one step and you are more kind or you are more compassionate, it just ripples out into the world. And, um, you know, I work with mostly women. A couple cool, really, guys will work with me, but it's mostly women who don't know what to throw into the pond. They're, they're unsure of what to throw into the pond in order to create the ripple effect that they want. And so um, one of the things that working with, um, you know, from soul-wise living perspective is throw one piece of truth into the pond. You throw one piece of your truth into the pond and the ripple effect, you just, you won't know what, how huge that can be. So you throw one piece of your truth in and you start creating um, shifts and changes with your colleagues, your clients, your coworkers, your family. Oh my goodness, the difference in your family, right? Mm. And your friends and your communities. And that's that ripple effect that has such profound um, results for everybody. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Um, you know, just that idea of how to, create positivity in your atmosphere right yes. <laughs> yeah right. and it's and it starts with it starts from within it does right? it does and you know one of the challenges that we all have is we we stick in the same paradigm and um we're either sad a lot of the time or we're empty we're not sad but we're not happy we're just mm -hmm. kind of there and so there, there's um one uh, theory where there's 22 em emotions on this scale. I've actually read a book where there's a thousand different emotions. Oh and that m to get to the next level, it's just about making one shift. And when you can make that shift energetically, you start vibrating differently. And, and you are able to elevate yourself and bring yourself to a place of the next time you need to make a shift, you start vibrating a little bit higher and you vibrate a little bit higher. And then when life gets messy and we all, all of our lives get messy, messy, we all have those pesky moments of life coming to us, right? We're able to not fall down that rabbit hole so deeply. We, we're able to kind of stop that process and continue up that emotional scale so that we're vibrating at a higher level. And that is what allows that joy to percolate up. That's what allows that truth to come forward. Mm. Tell me more about the positive impacts that you're you're seeing when your clients or even yourself, mm. your loved ones are are vibrating on that higher level. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, because I've been living soul wise now, I went through a period of deep depression back in the early 90s. And as I was coming out of that, um, I recognized that I had a great counselor, but you know what? I could go in and I could go out. I could go to him and I could leave. If I didn't do the hard work, 
nothing was going to shift. Mm-hmm. So I, I stepped into the space of listening to my own wisdom. And so from there, all of the messages are about allowing yourself to get to a point where you can make a, a shift in yourself to make a change in the world. So, you know, for me, I, I could give you a thousand and one examples of when I was able to take a situation and have a positive effect with my family or with even with clients, you know, and bringing them up. But from a client standpoint, another really great example is um, what my first client was an international, I became an international coach with my first client. I love that, right? <laughs> That's great. And she um, was trying to balance a... Um, she was a psychologist, and she was trying to balance the the uh, practice of um, where she was insurance reimbursement, where she was confined to a certain box of how she had to work mm-hmm. with um, a new age paradigm. And so when we got to her truth and her fears about leaving behind a model that was proven where she could have success and financial abundance and make a little ripple effect – and we, we shifted and we got out of that fear and she opened up, um, her new age practice where she left behind insurance reimbursement. She found that she could make a much more profound effect with her clients because she wasn't held in that paradigm. So she could insert new, new age wisdom and new techniques that in that paradigm she was not allowed to do before. And so now she was getting more results with her clients. And you look at people who are stuck into thinking that they have to work this one particular way. And you make that little shift where you can start working in another way oh my goodness, the differences become a real and palpable. And um, for a psychologist who has to deal with so much, right? They have to deal with so many pain points. Um, for her to begin to experience the ability to make profound um, joy for her, it also pr- brought a f- profound joy to me because I then by osmosis, I'm touching all of her clients as well. Right. Right? Yeah. And so when we do, when we do our thing, when we are being our truth, you never know where the ripple effect happens. Right? It, because it's not, you. it's unseen. It's, mm-hmm. it's unseen in the world. And so when people say, well, I'm just going to stop. I just, I'm, I'm just done. I'm just, I'm done doing the growth. I'm done doing the evolution. I'm done. I'm just done. The challenge is they don't know what they don't know. They don't know the effect that they've already had and the effect that's possible and the result that's coming behind the next door that they open. And so I always tell people, I I had a client recently who had had some great spiritual awakening, and then she's like, I just want to put it back in the box. Please just put it, (laughs) let, let me just put it back in the box. I want to go do my old thing because it was easier. easier, right? Mm-hmm. And then she calls me up the next day. She goes, I'm over that. Okay, what do we do next? Right? Because it's, it's not that this is hard work. Enlightening, you know, evol- being evolutionary mm-hmm. and taking that step forward is not hard work, but it does take you out of your comfort zone. It definitely does. Right? Yeah. It takes you out of that comfort zone. And it's easier to stay in the comfort zone. It's it's easier yeah. because it's what we're, we're used it's, to. Our brain is wired that and, way. And at yeah. Evolution Two Nineteen this year, you know, we've spent the the first day talking about that, talking about you know, you're in your comfort zone, and in order to grow, if you choose to, you have to start making queries of yourself. That's going to take you out of that comfort zone to take those courageous steps. Absolutely, absolutely. And you talk you talked about wisdom, so. Um, what wisdom has been revealed to you at Evolution 2019 so far? Um, you know, I, I've been through many of these things, um, you know, because I'm, I live soul wise, so I go to a lot of conferences and workshops. And, and what Bryna has been able to instill in just day one of, day th- of three days is 
that you don't know what you don't know and that you have to continue to, to unravel the onion and ask and ask and ask. And she was really, um, brilliant at being able to support us in finding the right question because the question for you is going to be different than the question for me and it's going to be different for all the lovely women in the room. The questions are always different. We, we, Bryna is being um, absolutely amazing at allowing us to step forward in our uniqueness and she's not trying to put any of us in a square bottle with the same formula. You know, right. So many people try to teach the same, just do this formula right. and you'll get to that result. And Brian is allowing us to be our unique, brilliant self, and she's just holding that space for us and giving us those tools to do that. Yeah, I love that she talked about alignment, and I think that that's such an important thing in this kind of wild west that we have right now of the you economy mm-hmm. and um, you know online coaching, and there's so much information out there, which is awesome. And then there's so much information out there that is sometimes not so awesome. Yes. And we get caught up in that. Oh, you got to do this system. You got to do this formula. You got to do, you got to do it this way. Mm-hmm. Um, and even when I'm working with my clients, I'll, a lot of times I'll be like, well, you know, does that really work for you? Is mm-hmm. that even part of your personality? Is that part of your style? Like yeah. what aligns yeah. with you does it resonate with you right you know is that your truth and you know, exactly because we go back to that whole core cool, uh, alignment and resonance is about your truth, truth yeah. you know people look at me and and i i i stepped into the formula of being a spiritual coach and i forgot that i could be sassy <laughs> right i right. can be sassy and spiritual absolutely right? because that's who i am and that's how i get results with my clients but when i took that piece out of it because I was trying to follow the formula. Right. I wasn't getting those results with people. And there is so much information out there. And there are so many bright, shiny objects. Should I go do this? Should I go do that? Should I go do this? If we just, and Bryna was great at, at um, pointing out, if we just get quiet, if we just take those those moments and just be with our own self and our own truth and ask that discerning question of ourselves, we can get to the answer as to whether that's the right piece in somebody's system or that's the right program to go take. Or um, screw it, I'm doing it completely my own way and I'm just going to have fun doing that. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. We're, I think it, it, we're, we're starting to come into this age of, of recognizing that we're powerful. We're powerful mm-hmm. beings. We're powerful creators. And what you say about just getting quiet and tuning in, like mm-hmm. it's got to come from within. It, and we're so trained and conditioned to look without, yes. you know, outer, yeah. outside of ourselves for the answers. And that we, we came here with them. We did. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it, I think about these kindergartners who are told to stand in line and be quiet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's where it starts, where we start shutting down mm-hmm. our own wisdom and everything that we came into this world with. And when we open that up again for ourselves, um, the the possibilities are endless. And we are powerful beyond our own beliefs. And it's going into our belief systems and allowing them, is that is is that your truth or is that what you've been telling yourself because anything that's true is vibrant and full and and it draws you in and you just want more of it anything that is untrue doesn't do that it's it it's your self talking and it, it you can feel it dampen your spirits mm. so we get to that point where we can find that space and that time to ask those discerning questions and then saying, is that our truth? Is that your truth? And and you'll get the answers. And that's what's so beautiful about living soul-wise and evolving and, and growing and stepping into more possibility for yourself. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much for this conversation. Uh, How can people find out more about you? Soulwise Living. I live in the in the virtual world. <laughs> I live at soulwiseliving.com. And you can find me there and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. Until next time, remember, be your best story and spread your positive news now. 
Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.